Madam President, ladies, gentlemen, and colleagues, it is an absolute pleasure to present to you Ms. Sha'abone Basij Rosich. Sha'abone is globally recognized as an educator, activist, and advocate for education for women, not only in her native Afghanistan, but throughout the developing world. Her steadfast de determination to find solutions to the manifold challenges of providing education for girls in Afghanistan has won her worldwide recognition and respect. She is the co-founder and president of SOLA, a Pashto word meaning peace, that stands for School of Leadership in Afghanistan, a non-profit organization focused on and dedicated to provision of quality education for young Afghan women in Afghanistan and abroad, regardless of their ethnicity or religion. Sha'abone often begins her speeches with a stark reminder that she is one of the lucky 6% of the Afghan women whose education has gone beyond the high school. Her poignant and inspirational personal journey began at the age of six, living in Kabul, with a seemingly unremarkable desire to go to school. But in the Taliban-governed Kabul of 1996, not only were women forbidden to work, but young girls were also banned from going to school. Any woman who appeared anywhere in public had to dress in the full burqa and be accompanied by a close male relative. It would be easy to assume that given the dire consequences of defying this rule, most Afghan families would have given up on the education of their daughters, but not Sha'abana's parents, who were unwavering in recognizing the value of education. Every day, they dressed Sha'abana as a boy, ostensibly to escort her older, fully clad sister and the two would hide their books in grocery bags and sneak off to one of a few secret homeschools that had sprung up in and around Kabul. Each day, they would undertake the 90-minute round trip, altering their route to the school and careful not to raise anyone's suspicions, knowing that punishment for pupils, parents, and teachers who disobeyed the Taliban would be at best flogging and at worst, beheading. It was not till near early 2002 that Shabana's formal schooling began in Kabul. However, the devastation wreaked on the country's infrastructure meant that the majority of children, like Shabana, would be taught in makeshift tents, while a lucky few enjoyed studying inside a school building. As her class representative, Shabana managed to persuade the headmistress to allow her to set up a system of rotation so that all the children could access the facilities of their school in turn. An early example of her talent for diplomacy and negotiation. At the age of 14, Shabana sat a placement test for the US-sponsored YES Youth Exchange and Study Program. Although she had only just begun learning English, she was accepted at a high school in, a, in, in Alaska in Wisconsin. At the conclusion of the YES program, Sha'abone applied to the prestigious Middlebury College in Vermont. And not only was she accepted, but she was also awarded a scholarship. She graduated magna cum laude in 2011 in international and gender studies. While at Middlebury College, she received the Madeleine Kuhnin Public Service Award for outstanding leadership and service to others, followed by a $10,000 Davis Peace Prize, which she used to provide six new water wells in and around Kabul including one at her old school. This was a clear testimony to her belief that alumni can play a vital role in the future of their institutions, and that nation building often needs to start at the most basic level. 
Charbonne understands that the education of girls and women also has a profound knock-on effect on the economic development of communities, and in particular, on the health and welfare of a society as a whole. Sha'abane Basij Rasikh's impressive international advocacy for girls' education has attracted praise from around the world, including from Ban Ki-moon, UN Secretary General, and Hillary Clinton. She has acquired an impressive media presence that ranges from a TED talk to extensive interviews with, amongst others, CNN, BBC's Newsnight, and numerous column inches devoted to her in prestigious journals across the globe, and particularly in US and the UK. Moreover, she has been the recipient of a number of significant achievement awards, the latest of which is the 2016 Forbes 30 Under 30 Summit Impact Award. Through her tireless informed campaigns, always conducted with disarming serenity, Shabane urges us all to invest in the development of education programs for girls across the developing world, never losing sight of the Article 26 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which states that everyone has the right to education. Sha'abane de Basij Rasikh is an ideal person to join our community as we celebrate our centenary. As SOAS scholars and students endeavor to study and research issues such as democracy, development, and social change across wide regions of Asia, Africa, and the Middle East, we welcome individuals such as Sha'abane who can guide and enrich our understanding of these regions with their practical experience and vision for change. More than a thousand years ago, Ferdowsi, the great poet of Sha'bones and my homeland, wrote, Tavano bovad, harkedano bovad, zedanish de le pir, borna bovad. Acquiring knowledge is empowering, and learning will keep the heart forever young. It is my privilege now, Madam President, to present to you Ms. Sha'bane Basij Rasikh for the award of Doctor of Laws and to invite her to address the assembly.